Acast have announced the acquisition of Pippa, a podcast host. Ross Adams, the company's CEO, told Pod News that the acquisition of Pippa will effectively double the company's number of shows. In the past, we've had strict minimums required to join, he added, saying that Pippa's acquisition will allow any size of publisher to join the network for the first time. Pippa, which Adams describes as a good cultural fit for Acast, is popular for publishers in countries like the US. France and Norway, while Acast itself is based in Sweden, and Acast achieved over $33 million in funding last year. Three more publishers have pulled their content off Luminary. Mikey Fowler, EP of podcasting for Barstool Sports, which is currently number eight in PodTrack, tells us that they have requested all of their RSS feeds be removed from Luminary, which will mean a total of 26 shows will be unavailable. Endeavour Audio podcasts have been withdrawn from the service as well, and the Joe Rogan experience is also removed. That's been replaced with another character characteristically snippy message. The subscription app launched earlier this week with high-profile podcasts from Spotify, Gimlet Media, Parcast and the NYT's The Daily being unavailable. Luminary appears to be fighting back with PR. Matt Sachs, the co-founder and CEO of Luminary, has written a long piece explaining Luminary's model, the sole post in a hastily erected medium blog. Manoush Zomorodi is also interviewed in Digiday, hawking the company, saying, as a creator, it's hard to get a production off the ground if you don't know you have a steady income. Her podcast Note to Self is relaunching as a Luminary-funded production. Luminary have also placed sample episodes of all their premium podcasts in Apple Podcasts and therefore most other places. What to do with pod fading podcasts? Mark Asquith from Rebel Base Media has some ideas and a few searches in Apple Podcasts that are less than ideal. You'll find a link to that in our show notes and in our newsletter, along with this, bitrate, sample rate and codec. What difference do they really make to your audio? Well, we link to an episode of the Pod News podcast encoded in a lot of different ways. This is what 8 kilobits sounds like. The BBC is advertising for a controller for BBC Sounds. The BBC uses controller as a broadly similar term as managing director for a business unit. This is a new role announced yesterday alongside a role of controller for their TV product, BBC iPlayer. The iPlayer job has been taken by Dan McColbin, currently commissioning controller for daytime and programming. When do people install new apps? Weekends, according to a graph from Radio Player, a radio and on-demand app in many different countries. The Webby Award for Best Host went to Pod Save the People. Magellan analysed the advertising within that podcast. The List, a US nationally syndicated TV programme, featured Stitcher in a story recently. They tell us it's a good step in raising awareness for the medium as a whole. And it's certainly a nice piece to link others to. Both The List and Stitcher are owned by EW Scripps. Stitcher are also advertising for a Stitcher Breakthrough Fellowship. We believe they say the podcast industry's workforce should reflect society at large in all its diversity, and the Stitcher Breakthrough Fellowship program is designed to help recruit diverse talent and promote inclusivity in podcasting. You have until Sunday to apply. And Cadence 13 has launched C13 Originals, a new division focused on original storytelling. Their first podcast is called Gangster Capitalism. It's an in-depth look at white-collar corruption in America. We mentioned three podcasts today in our show notes and in our newsletter, Podcasting Essentials, which has Steve Pratt from Pacific Content as special guest this week, Adrift with Jeff Lloyd and Annabelle Port. They're putting on their first ever live show in Hebden Bridge. And Mark Zuckerberg has a podcast, in case you ever want to hear a podcast clearly hosted by a robot. Uh, it's strangely only on Spotify at the moment. Can't think why. Oh, yes, maybe it's something to do with Apple shutting down many of Facebook's internal apps.